Welcome back to another VideoPad video editor tutorial with easy to follow step by step instructions. In this video, I'm going to be demonstrating step by step instructions how to change the pitch of the audio part of a clip without changing the speed of the video itself. Unfortunately, VideoPad Video Editor does not include an option to do this from within the software itself. You will need a special audio editing software program. NCH, the makers of VideoPad, have a separate program entitled VideoPad Sound Editor that, if you wish, you can download from their website and you can find a link in the description below. Note, it requires a separate registration and separate fee from the VideoPad video editor. If you have a licensing issue with any VideoPad program, you may wish to search YouTube for help on registering your NCH software. For this video, I am going to be using a freeware audio editing program called Audacity. I have no affiliation with either NCH or Audacity and am making absolutely no money from either of them. You can find the link to the Audacity homepage in the description below. It is an easy program to download and install. There are many other audio software programs available that you may wish to use. It's up to you. Let's get editing. After you've loaded your video clip into VideoPad, the first thing you need to do is to mark off the segment that you wish to change the sound pitch to. Position your red timeline cursor at the beginning point. Hover your mouse over the red timeline cursor and choose split all tracks, the little scissors icon. The scissors icon does not appear. Click one time on the red timeline cursor. Reposition your red timeline cursor to where you wish your sound pitch effect to end. And once again, click on the scissors icon, split all tracks. You have now designated the segment that you are going to be working with. Click in the middle of the audio track that you have just marked off. It will turn a gray color and you know that it is activated. Right click and choose save audio clip as new file. It will probably will be at the top of the menu. VideoPad will create a WAV file and it will be located in the audio files bin of your media bin. Note that it is a WAV file. The next thing you need to do is find out where this WAV file has been placed on your hard drive. The easiest way to do this is to right click on the WAV file that has been created and choose open file location. This will open up your file explorer and you can now copy this WAV file or you can simply make note of where it is on your hard drive. I personally like to copy it and then I like to paste it into the folder that I have all my other project files in. This way I know exactly where it is and I don't have to go searching for it. Next we're going to open Audacity that you have downloaded and installed on your computer. You can either click and drag the file that you have just created into Audacity or you can choose File Open. And if you don't see your file change to all supported files or all files from the files of type drop down menu at the bottom of the screen. Now this is really important. You need to select all. Okay, so click on the select from the top menu and click on all. That means the entire audio file has been highlighted and you will be applying your desired effect to it. If you need to undo, just click on edit and undo and you will see the name of the change that you have made so you can easily undo or redo. We are going to be changing the pitch. So click on the effects menu and then choose change pitch. 
There are many, many modifications that you can make within Audacity. It is not the purpose of this video to show you how to use Audacity. There are many, many things you can do with it. You will have to experiment on your own. We are just going to apply one simple effect. Now this brings up the change pitch without changing tempo dialog box. And as you can see, we have uh, pitch frequency and we are going to use the percent change. You can type in the percent change box or use the slider bar. I am going to modify it by negative 20, minus 20. I've just typed in minus 20 into the percent change box. You can preview your effect by clicking on the preview button at the bottom of the dialog box. And this is really useful so that you can achieve the pitch that you desire. You can also use the bass and treble effect to further modify your clip. And you can play around with all the other effects as you wish. Once you've applied your effect, choose File, Export to save your file. And most common file formats are MP3 and WAV. And when the export audio dialog box comes up. If it does not automatically come up to the type of file that you wish, you can click on the save as type and choose MP3. And you can also choose what quality that you want. Again, it's up to you. 320 is really not insane. Extreme probably will be fine for most of your um, video pad needs. It's up to you. And unless you want to add metadata, simply tick on don't show this when exporting audio and that will never come up again and then simply click on OK. You can also save your editing work as a project if you wish to return to it and from the top menu click on file save project and you can give it a project name and you can reopen it in Audacity at any time. Now add your edited audio file back into VideoPad. Back in VideoPad, one of the first things you want to do is you obviously want to mute the original audio track. So make sure you have expanded your sequence and click on the change sound volume little icon there. It looks like a little speaker and just tick on mute. And so you no longer have your original soundtrack. It will be muted and click on OK. To bring your new modified sound file into VideoPad, what I like to do is position the red timeline cursor near your clip. You can click and drag the audio file or right click and choose overlay on sequence and it will be put on your timeline. Once on your timeline, click on the new audio segment to activate it and drag it so that it snaps into place. It is the exact same length as the video portion, so it should fit perfectly. I've exported the video clip with the new sound pitch. Let's take a look. Oh golly, oh gee, oh gosh. Oh how I wish I could just change my voice at a snap of my fingers. Snap! Oh my god, oh golly gee, Josh. Holy... My voice changed! Wow, this is amazing! Oh no, I'm changing back! Oh! Oh! Darn it! Oh! Yeah, looking good. To summarize, step one. Export the audio portion of your clip from VideoPad. Step two. Edit the audio clip in Audacity. Step three. Import the modified sound clip back into VideoPad. Voila, you've done it. Happy editing! Click on the Community tab for updates and previews of upcoming videos. Click on the Playlist tab for videos grouped by subject. See ya!